It's still the morning, 10 minutes to go. Good morning, everyone. My name is Tarushi Boati, and I propose that we fix the future. All right, be with me. I know that there are a lot of things you doubt I can fix. And fair enough, but nitrogen? Nitrogen is something we can fix. So, if you look at the graph in the top right, fertilizer use grows alongside the world population. With the necessity to feed a rapidly increasing population, food production will require incessant amounts of fertilizer to boost production. The issue is, fertilization of pastures and crops is a major contributor to pollution of our groundwater systems. Nitrogen fertilizers break down into nitrates and travel through the soil. As it's water soluble, it can remain in groundwater for decades, its addition over time having an accumulative effect. Paired with the intense nitrate concentration of cattle waste, nitrogen fertilizers are destroying our groundwater systems. The thing is, nitrogen itself is a fundamental element for plant growth and production. It's a major component of chlorophyll and amino acids, as well as ATP and nucleic acids. And despite 78.9% of the atmosphere being made up of nitrogen, plants can only utilize reduced forms of it, meaning most of that atmospheric nitrogen isn't put to any use. However, nitrogen fixation is a process whereby Atmospheric nitrogen is reduced into organic compounds, making it available for plants' use. It offers a natural means for providing nitrogen for plants, an alternative for chemical fertilizers. Predominantly, the process of nitrogen fixation has been reserved for legumes due to the presence of nitrogen-fixing rhizobia bacteria. As you can see in the diagram, Atmospheric nitrogen is contained in the root nodules, which then reduce the nitrogen for the plant's use. That being said, if only there was a bacterium that could reduce nitrogen, that could fix nitrogen for plants that weren't legumes. If only. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you glucose Gluconacetobacter diazotropicus, or GD. Thank you, thank you everyone. <laughs> GD is a nitrogen fixing bacterium first isolated from sugarcane plants and does not require the formation of root nodules to provide significant amounts of nitrogen for the plants, an alternative for chemical fertilizers. It's not plant specific and has been found in a number of unrelated species to sugar canes, making it available to potentially fix nitrogen for grasslands. It's unable to enter the plant tissue unassisted. However, it has been found to have a symbiotic, with, symbiotic relationship with AM or Arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi that allow it to exist in the rhizosphere and consequently enter the plant. AM fungi are omnipresent and play a substantial role in improving plant growth through better uptake of nutrients. If you look in the diagram, the dry weight of the shoots is significantly higher with the presence of AM fungi, making this a win-win situation. So, it presents the opportunity for an AM GD formulation that can be applied to already established grasslands in New Zealand and fix nitrogen from the atmosphere as a substitute for nitrogen fertilizers. With agriculture as our primary sector, we already have countless acres of grassland that needs nourishment. But agricultural practice needs to be efficient eco-friendly and economical. Utilizing the process of nitrogen fixation through a GD AM formula will remove reliance on expensive chemical procedures, leaving capital for more important projects that will drive our economy. And at the end of the day, 
atmospheric nitrogen is free. By revoking the need for chemical fertiliser, we won't be damaging our waterways further, making them clean and available for our leisure, cleanliness and consumption, and saving money on decontamination projects, as well as preventing disturbance from toxic water pollution to our public health. So, agricultural, agriculture is a sector that relies entirely on the land, which means that we can't treat the environment as dispensable for the economy anymore. Sustainable environmental practice involuntarily lends to sustainable economical practice, which will, in turn, sustain our society. So, let's go. Let's fix the future. <laughs>